Yeah, so basically for me, uh, I wanted to just say a few things. Uh, as Franci Apfelbeck, you know, one of the founders of Hurricane Base, this weekend is about bringing the people together, both from the hackerspace and the wider community. And we try to help to do it, you know, around the food and drinks. So we did many stuff, you know, this week uh, we started with a bit of cider tasting and cooking. Uh, the next day we had a big tasting of Normandy gourmet products mostly ciders but also cheeses and sausages etc and we are you know like floating around for many hours it was really nice the day after we have been doing the incub experiment incubator uh, so technically project to build up fermentation helper and we succeeded we had two prototypes third version which is running and ready and now we are basically closing down we had some of course more food we always have food and drinks you know to be around yeah, we will check you know how much we collected on donations, if we got everything and pack, load it in and we will see you from our hacker spaces because we are in many places around the world. As a people who like to do food and drinks in an experimental way let's say and bio. And uh, in the latest you know we will be at March at the Make a Ruhr in Dortmund, which started I think on 26th or 27th of March. So if you check our pages, you have it listed there. So thanks, you know, for being around, checking this, and I hope to see you with us on some event, you know, and also in the meanwhile. Bye. Most of it is soldered, so maybe we have to do another one after. So maybe yeah, okay. that's um, more interesting. Uh, This uh, sausage yeah. uh, I bought in Normandy, not really a special shop, you know, but I personally enjoy it, <laughs> meaning it's okay. And we had it, you know, during our Normandy tasting. So we can taste a little bit. Uh, can you make a movie now? First time power in. So we are switching on the kit. It's the first time for the fourth for generation, I, be, I believe, of Experiment Incubator. Okay. Yeah, they are always hard to manage <laughs> well. That already looks okay. Mm -hmm. So a couple of lights come on. And LED. And there's no coat in there yet, so... Okay. This is fine, no smoke escaped, everything yeah. is powered. So basically now you will be uh, uh, uploading the program on into the chip, right? Yes, and okay. it, theoretically after that, if it works, it's it's finished. Yes, it would be really still nice if you could uh, add the relay, because I have the relay and the cooler for the relay, okay. it's ready. That would be nice, because then we could maybe test it really like, you know, this one, like on the light bulb or whatever. That would be really cool. Okay. I would be very happy. I'll try to find the cable to mm -hmm. program with. Perfect. Yeah. Reading the source code. Yeah. Is it somewhere public or? It's on a Experiment incubator. If you go for Furekin Base, Furekin Base projects. The code, the program to yeah. the microcontroller. I think that we should go for this here. This is four generations as third. Here. here, no software. The GitHub. Yeah, basically check for the latest version and that should work. Okay, so yeah. 11 months ago is the last... Uh... I will check with uh, uh, Marcel online. Okay. But that should be the thing. No, oh, I need the driver. For the cable. Uh -huh. For the programming cable? cable? Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. So this is the agar agar, you put it in water for like 20-25 minutes, then you squeeze it out and you put the cold stuff into the hot liquid and then you let the hot liquid cool down in the, in the fridge and you have a nice dessert. So this is uh, some normal milk with coconut cream, with coconut creamer and we, we sweeten it with that and then we uh, put the agar agar in it and it will become a nice cold dessert in some glasses and we're going to also to use the peaches in it.
This is actually a tempeh, uh, something what I have made. Uh, this one you can see actually it should be like really white when it's young. Uh, in this case it's already a bit black, you know, because of the sporas. But that's no problem. Uh, it's just like, you know, made basically today. But the temperature was a bit oscillating. Very nice stuff, you know, if prepared, like vegans like it very much, you know. I like it too because it's kind of calories and heaviness. So fermented, generally soya beans, in this case chickpeas with the fungus kind of, you know, making it kind of fermented to a degree and after it's sliced, marinated and fried or made in the oven under the grill it's really nice, it has nice, you know, texture but today's one, you know, you can see it's not as firm as it should be like I did, you know, firmer ones I didn't, I'm not sure if the humidity was the issue or whatever but the flavor should be nice Tempeh So you infuse it cold, the yeah. seaweed? Yeah. And what do you do actually want? You want just the seaweed or the juice? No, we are disposing No, we don't the want juice. the juice uh, because it has to take up uh, the okay. liquids again. So that's why we squeeze it out. Many like of this of course. Yeah. Uh, do you know incubator? I don't know if it's documented, there is one utility which is supposed to check, you know, the type of uh, LED, uh, sorry, the LED display. Mm -hmm. There are two types. Is it on the upload? No, I don't know. You can see the upload from Deutschland. I don't know if you can see it. Why don't you see it here? I don't know. But I'm going to see it. Maybe it's not a problem. It's not a problem. It's not a problem. It's not a problem. It's not completely working yet, I think. It's minus 7 degrees, right? So basically, we are nearly there, hopefully, yeah? We're getting there. Good. So now we'll figure out why the temperature sensor doesn't Did you make, guys, some documentation when you were trying the stuff which was an issue, like, you know, for Marcia to have a look on? Do you have a list or some log issues? Basically, just one thing you changed, Yeah. Yeah, that's not yet perfect, but it's, it's at least giving some kind of reading. Maybe need some more calibration. I will send a pull request to you. And, uh, and uh, relay, right? That's probably best, yes. And we, need, we, we will need some screws, I believe. Not sure the size, but it looks should be okay. So basically we need uh, heat, heat paste and screws. Yeah. 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 Dan ploeg je de potjes zo uitvallen en dan kun je straks vast wel leven waarom. Ik ben hier net ook niet zeggen. Moet je het soldeerbord aan de ene kant houden? Ja. Ook doe het aan deze kant. Ja, maar ik denk dat we hebben te spoelen. Dat is niet hard genoeg om te cutten. En dan geeft hij iets aan over de vloer. Nice, iets steken. Ik ga het weer terug in de fridge zetten, zodat het kan... Okay. Get a little more stiff. Kanten zo met die met die stokjes tegen en dan weet je. Het is niet 100 percent betrouwbaar, hè? Voor alle klanten, maar die is wel allemaal. Ja, ja, oké. Ik denk dat het is geen schakelaar. You can take a picture of this. A little bit more. So this is langrosh. It's a hunger and specialty from what I have read. In Czech we know it from different events. We like to make it, you know, it should float in the oil. And uh, at the end, you put a topping on, which ever you like. There are many, many different types. This is kind of light color. That's basically how it should look like. 
here you have already one which is done. This one's a bit too flat, I would say. You have truffle mayonnaise, maybe you could try that. And oh, it broke a little bit, that's okay. Thank you. And I just use the thing, yeah. put it like this a little bit long wise so I can easily spread it after. Yeah. And spread it a little bit like this, kind of, you know, yeah. more or less. And you're now making some kind of pancake. Yeah? Langosh. Langosh, totally different. <laughs> So it will go off at 26.5. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And then it will wait. Point and it will, yeah. Five. Uh -huh. Because otherwise you will have the click, 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 click. I know, click, I know, click, I know. Click, no. That was Marcel already did before, right? That was in the program, right? Yes. Yeah. So if I heat it up a bit more. Then once it passes 26.5. Mm -hmm. So we are successful. Amazing. <laughs> Thank you very much. So first prototype of uh, the fourth generation of Experimental Incubator was done in Void Varandis. Good. <laughs> so I just took uh, one side I kept like this, so it's straight from the... Yeah, to on there. To there. Yeah. And the other one, if I connect them like that, yeah. and the thing is in, then the lamp light will... Uh, no, I understand, do one side, yeah. And I would just... Put it on the road yeah. instead. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. So once one cable is complete, one is cut. Yeah, basically switch. Yeah. It's a switch. Electronic yeah, one, switch. One polar switch. <laughs> so this one is done. There's a proof. Yeah. It was a real time proof. The out. It was a real correct second to tell. It was a clock or a motherboard. Yeah. The same thing. Dat moet gewoon ingebouwd worden in het grote toestel. Ja, voelen moet ik nemen. Dat is het programma dat er nog eens terug op is geraden. Ja, dat is een serieel programma. Ja, dat kun je die serieel gewoon zo doen. Ik ben 
most important. Okay, they both work. Okay. So you can see that what uh, Ivo and uh, by observation me have put it together two prototypes, actually one prototype, two pieces of experiment incubator for generation. And this thing it's fermentation helper. So if you would like to be able to see what's the temperature and change the temperature as you like, you can use this device. It has microcontroller in it, you know, program which we wrote, you know, which is open source and that in the moment temperature pro in the future we would like to be adding things like humidity sensor changing the humidity and other stuff you know maybe you know uh, shaking etc but as a basically it's a helper for fermentation experiment incubator so now it's around we started in 2010 really came back to it around 2012 13 and yeah, several years and it works i'll be making that hopefully soon with that you know so tempe kefir beer you know it's very helpful you know, for the fermentations